So hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, All Things Ray. I am super excited. First of all, happy new year, okay? It is a new decade. Uh, new Year's night, I went to sleep and woke up and I was like, oh, boom, it is 2020, which means new visions, new goals, new dreams, new aspirations in life. And I'm not one of those people to be like, new year, new me. Um, but it is a new year and I'm gonna be a better me. So we'll roll with that. Um, but with that being said, subscribe to your girl's channel because I want you guys to be a part of this journey in the new year. I am still fairly new to the YouTube game, but you know what? We're all a family and we're all going to grow together. Okay. So, um, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, I do vlogs. I do hair videos. I do videos like this. I don't know what you want to call this, but we have girl talk, all that good stuff. So, um, subscribe to your girl okay uh follow me on instagram at rachel ray underscore it is somewhere on this lovely screen of yours um follow me there because who wouldn't want to see more of me and you'll see more of what i'm working on outside of youtube so follow me there and then like this video at the end if you liked it and if you didn't i'm sorry it's 2020 sorry not sorry um and comment below um you know your dreams or you know whatever you feel like to comment if it's positive i'll respond if it's negative probably won't respond so yeah there's that um now that all of that is out of the way i wanted to come on here and share with you guys just five goals that i have planned to achieve for the new year now wow my lips get super dry does that mean I'm going to share with you guys all of my goals and dreams? No, because I just said I'm only sharing five, which means five that I don't mind the rest of the world knowing. Anything else outside of that, I'm moving in silence on, and you just going to have to peep your girl on the gram to know what else I'm working on. Um, but no, so I'm going to give you guys five things because this is YouTube, and I don't want the world to know all my plans. Um, and I just wanted to do this for accountability purposes. I feel like you guys are part of my family, and the only way this works is if I trust you guys for y'all to hold me accountable to make sure these things get done. So this is why I'm sharing them with you guys. So here we go. Um, first things first, I want YouTube to take off for me, okay? Um, I really enjoy this. What I found out was that I really enjoy this. And I'm like, ooh, I really want to do this, like for real, for real. So um, that being said, I'm going to become very consistent with my posting so consistent that you can expect a new video every either Friday or Saturday um, because I want you guys to be here for this journey. So, um, and to grow with me and for us to grow together on my channel. So every Friday or Saturday, there will be a new YouTube video posted for you guys. I'm going to be super consistent about that. And um, so there's that. I really, like I said, enjoy doing YouTube. I think this is a great platform um, and it's super fun from what I figured out. I have to get better with my vlogging though, but that is definitely in the same branch with the YouTube uh, goal, vision, same difference. Um, the second thing is I want to write two books um, and I'm saying two as a minimum. Um, However, the first one is more important, is super important to me. It's like a personal narrative book. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and check out like one of my earlier videos, earliest video, really. Um, I was raped and sexually abused. And so I want to write a book, um, just kind of like a personal narrative leading up to that, how I overcame that, how I found Christ through that for real, for real. And, um, because I, I say for real, for real, because people be like, oh, you were Christian before, which is true. I was Christian before, but I didn't have a real relationship with God. So that's why I say for real, for real. But anyways, I want to write a book about that um, and just some of the things that I was challenged and faced with while growing up in high school and in college as a young black female in America and dating wise. So be on the lookout for that. I want that to be done by the summer. Um, originally, I said my birthday, but that's only four months from now. And I have to be very realistic about this. Um, so I'm going to say June 2020 
between April and June 2020, expect that book. So I'm super excited, super stoked about that because I love writing. So I'm excited about that. Um, the other book I want to write are, I'm hoping like a series of different little ebooks. We'll see. Um, regarding digital media, um, content creation, marketing, social media, all that stuff, because I love that stuff. Um, I graduated with a degree in public relations, but if Georgia State would have offered some type of digital media content creation degree, I definitely would have chose that one. Um, but I do want to write about that. So that actually ties into my third goal, which is I have a blog um, dedicated solely to digital content creation and marketing, um, which I have not launched it yet. It is in the works. Um, it's actually going to be launched very, very soon. So um, that goal will almost be crossed off the list. But I really want that to grow for me as well because I enjoy that stuff like a lot. Within the past year, I've discovered how much I enjoy digital content creation and blogging and marketing and all of that so expect that for number three and number four is um i want to be able to measure the girls that i impact at work so i work in an elementary school and a lot of the girls do come into my office and they'll speak about um sometimes having low self-esteem or and stuff like that and i want to be able to measure the girls lives that i'm impacting i thoroughly i love my job um I love the kids, but what I love even more is that I've only been there, it, it'll be a year in February, and there are already girls that kind of trust me to be honest with me and to talk to me about things, and I enjoy being able to pour back into them. So I want to be able to measure if I'm really impacting their life. Um, so that is one thing, one goal I'm trying to work out and figure out better how to measure that. Um, but that is something that is near and dear to my heart that I thoroughly enjoy. And then my last goal is more of a spiritual goal, which is to really, I read the word. I read my word. Y'all know I love Jesus. Um, but I want to read my word with more intentionality because I feel like I'm reading for not for a long time. I felt like I've been reading for knowledge, but haven't been reading with intentionality of a hundred percent knowing how to apply it and i know that only comes by reading and also god help giving me understanding um but i want to do that i want to be able to apply biblical principle and see it actually manifest in my life um i think that's going to take my relationship with god to another level and also increase my faith on a whole different level and dimension so um that's what i'm looking forward to this year um 2020 is going to be filled with so much, you guys. So um, that's all I wanted to hop on here and share with you all. So happy new year. Um, it is 2020. Make it, make it your best year. It's a new decade. And I solely am a firm believer in how you start something is how you finish something. So go ahead and go hard at the beginning of this decade because of the end. You might be smooth selling. Who knows? You could be putting in work right now. To where at the end of the decade you a billionaire and you coast it so you just never know what god got for your life so um whatever you do do it unto the excellency of christ do it to the best of your ability and um that's all i got for you guys but i love you guys subscribe um and if you are already subscribed thank you for subscribing to your girl and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye